tasty, local, twisted. You can count on Vortex Donuts to deliver high quality, wholesome ingredients made from scratch daily. Hand cut, fried, and topped to bring you creative, unexpected flavor combinations. Unique donuts like blueberry basil or cream filled peach basil keep guests coming back again and again. But not to be dismissed are some classic flavors like cinnamon sugar. Add a swirl to make it the Vortex signature. Espresso donut or the apple fritter with caramel. The options at Vortex are endless and they're always coming up with something fun and different, making them uniquely Asheville. And just around the corner is French broad chocolates. What started from two crazy kids falling in love has now blossomed into an Asheville treasure, French broad chocolates. With a chocolate lounge, factory, and boutique, Dan and Jail Radigan keep things busy one chocolate at a time. The story here is pretty fascinating and one heck of a good read. See for yourself. Head on over to FrenchBroadChocolates.com to get all of the details. I'm here with Dan and Jail Radigan in the house that chocolate built. Tell us about the Vegan Buddha collection. What are the chocolates that we can get here for the vegans at French Broad Chocolate? Well, first of all, you can you can eat many of our chocolate bars. Yes. The, like you mentioned, it's not intuitive, but most chocolate is vegan. Unless milk is added to it, cacao and sugar are the basic ingredients. The Buddha, plain and simple, is pure dark chocolate and coconut. The Thai truffle is the same coconut cream base, but we infuse the coconut cream with lime, ginger, lemongrass, and green chili pepper. The strawberry balsamic is made with local strawberries, and then we roll the truffle in cacao nibs, which adds a bitter element to kind yeah. of balance out the flavor. The chocolate caramel. We, after a couple years of making vegan truffles, decided that vegans deserve to have a caramel. It's really pretty rare. So the cachata truffle with coconut cream, toasted peanut and coconut griddle, crushed and wrapped around the outside. The last one we call our Theros orange and fennel. So we pair that with a little bit of orange and some candied fennel for our, our last vegan truffle, which is made not with coconut cream, but with strictly dark chocolate and olive oil. And I have to tell you, this makes fantastic gifts. It's available online, right? Definitely. So please, 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 for the vegan in your life and non-vegan, if that's your fancy, go to frenchbroadchocolates.com and order yours today. Looking to satisfy my sweet tooth but keep my game up on the health angle, I tackled Nectar. Offering all vegan and gluten-free meals, juices, and nut milks, Nectar is my kind of place. But like I said, I want to keep it sweet but with a healthy flair. So maybe I'll grab one of their chia porridges topped with seasonal fruits and fresh nuts, or maybe I'll get one of their locally made raw sweet treats by Tiger Lily Sweets. Uh, I love Nectar first and foremost because the food. I mean, it's just out of this world spectacular. I've had a lot of vegan food over the past eight years and um, you just can't, kinda can't go wrong. I'm a huge fan of their pizzas served on a raw crust or baked gluten-free crust with your choice of their savory pizza pesto or the zesty pizza marinara. You can even create your own choosing your own toppings. You offer so many things for everyone, like something for everybody. You've got the juices, you've got the pizzas, you've got the nachos, you've got the bowls, like so much, so much wonderful, tasty food. What is it you want to offer the community as a whole? Well, the whole idea for being here is to offer the community a place where they can come and get anything they need as far as diet restrictions. So we're gluten-free, we're vegan, we're organic. We'll accommodate pretty much anything anybody needs. And so we're here as a community spot to support this community being healthy. Keep it green and clean with one of their superfood bowls, like the teriyaki bowl. Spiraled zucchini and carrot noodles, shiitake mushrooms, celery, cashew cream, and tamari. I love nectar um, for many reasons. One, being amazing food. Two, being a sustainable um, food source. And three, I love the people. What I really uh, love and like about nectar essentially is uh, that health conscious intention and motivation put into the foods and the simplicity really. Or one of their signature sandwiches like the garbanzo tuna sandwich. Vegan homage to classic tuna salad made with garbanzos, dulse, and soy free vegan mayonnaise served with lettuce and tomato. Nothing takes you back like a good old not so tuna garbanzo tuna sandwich. 
you know, I was a meat eater for my whole life. I've been vegan for, as I said, eight years. Um, so having that consistency and that thickness and richness and all of that is still really important to me. Uh, and they just, they knock it out of the park here. True to the South, in plant-based, gluten-free fashion, you don't want to pass up their Southern Comfort Plate with mac and cheese, chili, and collard greens. No matter what your pleasure, keeping it clean with a cold-pressed juice or grabbing some superfoods with a tasty bowl and beyond, Nectar has you covered. Check out NectarAVL.com to see what goodies they have in store. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Vegan Roadie. Please click subscribe and join me next week for part three of Asheville.